According to theoretical probability, how many times can you expect to land on red if you take 24 spins? Well, first, let's examine the red section of the spinner. The red part of the spinner occupies one-sixth of the entire spinner. To figure out exactly what fractional part the red space occupies on the spinner, simply divide the spinner so all of the spaces are equal in size. If you do this, you will see that each section is exactly one-sixth of the entire spinner. Now that we have divided the spinner into six equal parts, we can see that the red portion of the spinner is exactly one-sixth of the entire spinner. The theoretical probability of landing on a red section is one out of every six spins. So out of 24 total spins, the number of times we can expect to land on red should be equivalent to the fraction of one-sixth. The only number out of 24 that is equivalent to one-sixth is four out of 24. If you take four out of 24 and reduce it into simplest form, that would equal one-sixth. Another way to solve this problem is to take the total number of spins and divide by six because red represents one-sixth of the spinner. If the fraction was one-half, we would simply take the total number of spins and divide by two. Or if it was one-third, we would divide by three and so on. Another strategy which may be helpful when solving a problem such as this is to write how many total spins each section would get and it should add up to the total number of spins. Because we divided the spinner into six equal parts, we would have to put four in each section so those six sections of four would add up to 24. We can see that for the blue, we would have eight out of 24 chances. For yellow, we can see that it is also eight out of 24 chances. The green portion of the spinner has four chances out of 24 of being landed on, as does the red portion of the spinner, which is four chances out of 24, which when simplified is one-sixth, and one-sixth of 24 is four, and four is the answer to this problem because four out of 24 is equivalent to one-sixth.